over for a little bit. Okay, uh, LinkedIn account. Uh, the says to complete assignment, do these steps. Oh, uh, yeah, objective beginning, continue creating positive. Uh, professional uh, reputation. This is something I want to talk about a little bit about for LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not Facebook. Uh, and you'll see people sometimes posting stuff that they really shouldn't be posting in LinkedIn. There's nothing wrong with posting your own stuff, but just don't do it in LinkedIn or in Facebook or whatever, or some other thing. This is something that all the, um, you know, the professionals uh, use to either create networks or even get you know getting uh, positions or jobs. It's a, it's a way of contacting other professionals. And having said that, you're going to do that in a professional way. Uh, you know, you're not going to post you know pictures of your dog or anything on there. And and be careful what you send to people too. Um, you know, you, anything that you're interested in does not necessarily have to go on here. This is a professional um, a medium that is. Uh, is going to be used by professionals for professional purposes. And again, if you want to post personal stuff, you get a Facebook account. There's nothing else wrong with it. But this is for this is what is going to be only for your professional stuff. And, and you use professional tones in it too. You know, you go, hey buddy, how's it going? And none of that kind of stuff is in there. Okay. Uh, upload a professional looking picture. I think I mentioned this before. But if I had, I think I didn't. Uh, one of the, if if you're if you're worried about like the background in your pictures, finding a, you know, a good neutral space or background, one thing you can do is take a picture outside. And uh, I, I say that because it it really does, um, you know, I mean, make you know get your professional gear on and go out you know, and take a picture outside. It just creates more relaxed atmosphere. You know, it's professional because of the way you're dressed, but it's a more relaxed atmosphere. Having said that, mine's up against a white wall, so it's not that great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, uh, if, you, if you're if you're worried about your picture um, in the background and maybe not looking like you want it to look, uh, try taking a picture outside. Uh, it can help. Okay, uh, personal marketing advertisement. I included this in the uh, in the. Oh, you can't see that. I included this in. Oh, I gotta stop this one. Oh well, start the other one. I included this in the what I just sent you guys. It's also included in all the documents, but it's kind of hidden away. But, but all this is the, the personal marketing advertisement is just basically your background stuff, you know, your education, your work experience, all that kind of stuff. So this is your, you know, what's included in that. So when when it's when it asks for this, it says you're gonna use this information. To fill into LinkedIn, uh, you are, but this is just you basically your background information stuff. You know, these are what your your education, all that kind of stuff, and then down here you have your experiences and all that sort of thing. But listen, those will all go into, or not I shouldn't say all, but most of those will go into your LinkedIn. So again, this is not something terribly new. It's just uh, saying it a little bit different form. Okay. Let's go back to I'm back to the same thing. I'm sorry. No, I didn't hear it. Okay. Uh, use your strength finder keywords. Okay, this is one of those things that the when we, when we did that. Uh, um, target job deconstruction. Those we looked at the for the phrases that employers were using. Those are what we're going to stick in, and we're just going to in the skills part of your LinkedIn account. So, you know, these, these are not all separate things. The the the, the job deconstruction. That, I know it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it was a, a bit important of a, of a project, but it actually is because. It's for those exact phrases that employers are looking for. That's what you put in. Because when they do searches for people that they want, they're going to search for those phrases most likely. 
you know, if, if they're posting jobs using those phrases, they're probably going to be looking for people using those same phrases. Okay, uh, sales lead six contacts, 32 professional groups, that's not too hard. Um, Ask for at least uh, three to five seal endorsements. You can ask each other for those recommendations. Uh, oh, okay. Well, anyway, so so this is all the stuff. And the, and the one thing about all the stuff that we're doing is none of this stuff is in stone. So if you don't have the recommendations that you want right at this moment, yeah, you can put other ones in. You can put your friends in and stuff like that. And when you get the fresh ones, you want to take the friends out with the, you know, the fresh ones in or whatever. So don't don't think about this as so much as a it all has to be done right now, you know, and, and you, you can't change it. You will change it. You'll change this continuously. Okay, so let me stop that. And I'm gonna to go to my LinkedIn account. Hopefully I didn't close it up. Uh, okay, let me get back. Okay, here's my LinkedIn account. I've actually been updating, <laughs> and uh, just to tell you what, in uh, last. I don't know, whatever it was, on the, the 15th. Um, what happened here? On the, on the 15th, I had my, my job changed. I went from uh, Robert Morris College to um, Roosevelt. So, this change has changed. I just changed this today. So anyway, this will be you know your experience now. Um, you know you might you know, your experience will probably not be probably limited. And I wouldn't go too crazy on this if your experience does not match up with what you are looking for. You know, for instance, if you're trying to become a uh, you know a, a nurse, having experience working at Subway probably isn't that. You know, it's working with the public, and I would definitely include that in there. But it, it probably is not what they're really doing. So if you have, say, five jobs like that that really don't relate, cut it down. And you can always put in, you know, a note somewhere saying more, you know, uh, more position, you know, full, full listing of job experience available upon request. They'll get the idea that that's probably, you know. Now, once you get your first job, then this is going to be, you know, this is going to be the most important. Once you get experience, you're not expected really to have that though coming out of your, your first job. You, you'll be looking for usually entry level jobs. Uh, education, whatever your education you put in there. License and certifications. This one's a little bit of an irritant for me because you can't change the order of this one. <laughs> one of the weird things about LinkedIn. There's license and certification, you can't change the order. And why that's bad for me is the certified public account is the one that I have that's probably the most viewed. But it's also going to be last on the list if I put it in. I put my other. So there's actually I have two certifications I'm not putting in there because I can't change the order and I don't want the CPA one to be you know, <laughs> minor thing. Most things you can change the order. So you can change your education and stuff like that. That's even a problem. But for some reason, certifications you can't. Okay, skills and, and endorsements. Um, I'm going to add in skills. I, I have some. I don't have any endorsements. I have ones that are pending. I'm not going to put them in. But they uh, uh, for here. You know, this adding a skill. This is where you're going to put in. Um, What are you doing here? There we go. Okay, so you type a skill in here. It, a lot of times they'll give you just a little bit. They'll give you ones that they uh, will. They'll look at any of your information that you have, and they'll, they'll suggest certain things. So this is 
ones that are suggested for me. And I, I put a few of these suggested in, but you can also add one. And this is where you're going to put those words from you know, those keywords from your, uh, the deconstruction, the target job deconstruction. So if you had a number of target jobs that uh, had to, Team leadership. Add it. Hey. Okay. Uh, team player. And it looks like they have teamwork there. You might want to put that in also. Hey, why aren't you coming back? And the, the, the idea though, is that you can keep adding these and you, you get up to 50 of these. Every one of these is kind of like a hook in the water. So whatever the employers are looking for, whatever we did in your target deconstruction, whatever that is, that is what your employers are looking for. That's probably what they're going to search for. And so, you know, that's what you want to put in there. So adding skills is, uh, it's important to see how many skills I have. Uh, whatever they are. Anyway, um, you know, recommendations, you can get recommendations from each other. Yeah. <clears throat> Ask for a recommendation. You know, uh, so who who do you uh, who do you want to ask? You can put in their name. Uh, another thing you can do is, if you can get their email account, you can also. Uh, that's probably the quickest way. Because a lot of times when you search for people, you may not find them. You may have the, a lot of people with the same name. Uh, there's a lot of people named Mark Taylor. There's a lot of people, you know, whatever it is. And so a lot of times if you can just get you, their uh, personal, info, you know, your, their either email account or their uh, URL for LinkedIn, that usually is the best way. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Am I on the right screen? What's being shared here? Oh, my God, this is sharing my email. I am so sorry. Oh, what I did. And this is odd. I'm not getting. It's not letting me go to my. Hmm. I've never had this before. It's not showing the screen I wanted to show. I keep clicking on it and it stops. It doesn't, doesn't show it.
Okay, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to get out of everything except for the window I want to share. Okay. All right. I have no idea why it's not picking this up. Uh, I'm going to try something though. I'm going to get out of this and go back into, for some reason, it does not like that window. So I'm going to go back into it and see if it likes it now. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I have no idea why it's doing that. There we go. Okay. Ah. So anyway, so this is the, um, so oh, I was gonna show you guys how to do the, uh, uh, copy the URL and then you can also use your, uh, use your um, email, if you email, uh, you can someone's email, you can also uh, add something to your uh, connections that way. Uh, edit public profile in URL. So I'm going to click on this. So here at the top. And you can actually change it. Uh, you can change your the LinkedIn account kind of here. You can change it here. You can just click on this little arrow thing and you can make it more personalized. For instance, right now, this is my you know, LinkedIn and uh, it shows this. And this is what I'm just going to do, but it's a uh, so this is my LinkedIn web page. Now you can change change it to you know whatever you want. Now if I just put in Mark Taylor, I'm guessing there's somebody that already has Mark Taylor. So you have to add something on the end of it to uh, to make it unique. But anyway, you can you can go and you can change that to to be more uh, specific to what you're looking for. I'm not going to change it because it's, um, it's it's most likely going to be you know you got to add something random on the end of it anyways to make it go through but you put your birthday or whatever on it. okay so I'm going to copy this link so I just highlighted it I'm going to copy it and if you want to save it uh, you can put it in a notepad. Notepads are, if, if you're in Windows, you have notepad. I'm sure there's something similar in Apple. But uh, save the link. This will be the, so this is the link that will link people to my account. Okay, now I'm going to go to Blackboard. Turn on that lows. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to take that the uh, URL. I'm going to go to Blackboard. And I'm going to put it in the sharing section so that other people can take a look at it. If you guys want to connect to me, you can uh, if you ask for a connection. I'll give it to you, and you know that way you can also build up through connections to me if you you know other people in the class and that sort of thing too. All right, so I uh, get out of this. All right, let's see. Now, hopefully this will allow me to. Uh, 
Okay, so my classes, uh, I think this is the one I need. Okay, so I'm going to go into the discussion board and click on uh, LinkedIn contacts. There's already a thread in there. I'm going to create my own thread. Let me go back. So here is the thread area, create a thread. They, they call them threads, I don't know why. But, um, That's not in there, man. I'm on the wrong, I'm sorry. So uh, it shows there though, it says the uh, thread. So if you go up here, it, you know, it says create a thread. And I'm just going to create a thread for me. So this will be oops. All right. And I'm going to paste that. So this is my web page that I have there. So you can click on that, the web page. Uh, if you're signed into LinkedIn, then you can also uh, ask me for a connection and I'll obviously say yes. Uh, also, you can do a search by email. And my email is, nope, nope, that's not there. So you can also use my email to ask for recommendation. I'll show you where you do that. So I'm going to submit. And there it should be. Yep. Now, so you can actually uh, if you get there, if you get someone's email address, you can then go to Oh, I don't want that. Very weird. This is not loading. So here's all the connections. I, now I have a lot of connections because I have, have students. But uh, these are these are the connections that you're going to. Uh, 
um, you know, you'd be adding to. Uh, I'm going blank here. I can't have to. Uh, Very strange. Give me one second here. <laughs> Sorry about this. That's what I want. Okay, so um, one of the main things you can invite people by is invite by their email address, and this is one that will get you right to. It. So if you have their email address that they're using on, the, you guys can see this. I apologize for me. Okay, so I'm going to go back. So add more contacts. So to add a contact, um, one of the things you can do is put in their email address. This gets right to the person. So instead of searching through 52 people named Mark Taylor, if I give you my email address, this is my email address. This is the school we, <laughs> I don't have anymore. But you can put in by their email address and you put their email address in. Uh, I'm gonna get my wife's email. I'm going to invite my wife. Um, so you can invite someone, and the minute you hit continue, it should automatically, yeah, your invitations have been sent. So uh, if you put in their email, it'll go directly to that person rather than searching through, again, 52 Mark Taylors. If you have my email address, which you do, because it's in the uh, discussion thing, it, um, yeah, you know, you should be able to, it, it, it'll be a direct, a more direct way of doing it. And so as long as I'm signed in, I can accept it. It'll, actually, even if I'm not signed in, it'll, when I click on it, it'll, so you, you guys will see when you go back and forth. Anyway, uh, then you can get a bunch of contacts through, you know, myself and, and through other, each other uh, to grow up the web. And I think I told you guys this, but, you know, 
networking is percentage wise the the best way to get jobs. If, if someone recommends you, someone says, oh, I know somebody that you know, come in and, and you know, you, it goes back and forth. Someone's looking for someone else. You say, oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that, uh, you know, uh, Cheryl. I, it, uh, Cheryl would be perfect for me. You know, and that's the kind of thing that gets people jobs. It's, it's the best way to do it. It's, it's much easier to do that than, um, you know, someone fishing through thousands of resumes and, and picking yours. It's, it's usually best to go, go through networking if you can. So anyway, um, uh, you know, uh, getting directly to the email, can get somebody's email account. And it has to be the email account that they use for their uh, LinkedIn profile. All right. And I think... Yeah, so if you go to, to manage my network and then you look at uh, contacts, you have contacts and then you can, you know, any number of these people you can connect. I believe it came from Robert Morris College, you probably see a lot of people in here that uh, you know, recognize their names. But uh, anyway, uh, any questions on that? Again, the LinkedIn account is, it's a real, oh, another thing about, uh, I'll say one more thing on it. And that is the this the URL that you have. Um, big enough so you can see it. So the URL, the nice thing about LinkedIn also is if there is a an employer that does not use LinkedIn, they can still view your profile. So you don't have to send them all the information, you know, so if you, if someone's, you know, you find out someone's interested in you, you send them this, this LinkedIn link, you know, while you're getting your resume together or whatever it is to send the full package in, they can already start looking at your stuff. And, and you know, and so the LinkedIn account will actually work as an immediate resume, cover letter and all that kind of stuff. All, everything you put in there um, will immediately be available to whoever you give this link to, even if they are not on LinkedIn themselves. Any questions on that? Okay. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions on the LinkedIn accounts, it's, it's, there's a few quirks in it, but it's, it's usually, it's pretty straightforward. And you're going to be building up those uh, contacts and connections and recommendations and all that stuff. And you can ask for recommendations from each other. And that isn't a bad thing to do. Eventually, you're going to be giving recommendations to a lot of people, especially if you, if those of you that are moving up in management and that sort of thing. That you're just, you're just going to have the, the number of people that are going to be asking you for recommendations. And so you're going to get, get used to doing it and, and asking for recommendations 